I'm gonna make a butternut squash and chipotle risotto. Creamy, sweet, spicy, irresistible. So I already cut most of one two to three pound butternut squash into like a quarter inch dice. They don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, and this is very different from just chili powder. Chili powder has no personality. Who knows what chiles they throw in that generic chili powder? I'm gonna roast the butternut squash because I want it to cook intensely under the heat so that it gets really, really soft because I want the butternut squash to make my risotto even creamier. I have the oven at 400 degrees and I'm gonna roast it for 20 to 25 minutes. And for my risotto base, I'm going to combine some leeks and some wide onion. Before I chop, I can start heating my oil. So that was a quarter cup of olive oil and it's gonna start to heat one and a half cups of finely chopped white onion. So I have a half leek here. I just think sometimes people don't know what to do with it. You can use them with onions or instead of onions. So this makes about one and a half cups, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water, because by adding the water, they're gonna soften even more. And now all of the water has evaporated and come, because you can see the oil glistening in the bottom of the pan and all around the vegetables. And that's what you want. Risotto is all about timing and dancing with the different ingredients. I want these vegetables to be a velvety, silky base that is gonna blend into the risotto and make it even creamier. Risotto is all about making it creamy. What I want now is for my two cups of arborio rice that I have here to get coated in that now vegetable flavored oil. What this is gonna do is that the rice kernels are gonna get covered in that tasty oil and that's gonna give them a protective layer that's going to help them absorb the liquid very slowly so that they retain not only their shape and form but also their flavor. Now I need to add a cup of wine. And I'm adding a cup of white wine, that's dry. We wanna balance the acidity of the wine with the starchiness of the rice. And I'm gonna keep on cooking for another minute until the wine evaporates. And I'm gonna check my butternut squash. I mean, I could eat these like these, because we're in a tortilla. So I now need to start adding my chicken broth and my butternut squash in batches. I'm adding some now with the broth so that it cooks along with the risotto and becomes even creamier. And then I'm gonna add some near the end so I also have some nice bites of that butternut squash. You need to add the broth, which should be hot and simmering to the risotto, a couple of ladles at a time. Because you want the broth to be absorbed by the risotto rice very slowly, so that the rice absorbs the broth at the same time as the rice releases its starch, which is what makes the risotto creamy. The risotto to be like an incredible al dente, but creamy risotto, needs to have these steps. So when you finish cooking risotto, you always need to add something that's creamy and buttery to make it even more creamy and buttery. So aside from adding some butter, I'm gonna mix a cup of mascarpone. So this risotto is not gonna be creamy, it's gonna be ridiculously creamy. One tablespoon of maple syrup, which is going to enhance the sweetness from the butternut squash. Two tablespoons of the adobo sauce from the chipotles in adobo sauce. 
this chipotle is very different from the ground dried chipotle that we added to the butternut squash. It is sweeter. It has a lot of tomato flavor in it and more spices. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smooth and creamy and not spicy. Just with a little hint of the chipotle and that maple syrup and yum. I'm going to reduce the heat and keep an eye on the risotto. My risotto looks ready. Now is the moment when you turn it off. And then I'm gonna chop some epazote. And some cilantro. Two tablespoons of butter. Oh, the butter is loving that butternut squash. And then the creamy mascarpone. How creamy is this gonna be? Beyond, beyond creamy. But the rice is al dente. So you get the creamy and the al dente, which is what you wanna get with risotto. A half a cup of grated cotija cheese, just to garnish, because it's gonna be beautiful and even more tasty. The epazote and the cilantro that I just chopped. creamy and delicious. And then it has even more sweetness, but in a savory way because of the spiced up butternut squash. Really happy with how this is playing together. This is like a sophisticated, beautiful version of Mexican food, which is what you find in Los Cabos.